2.1 survey time. Okay. Survey. Let's see. So before we start with 2.1, it was good. It was a good patch. Um, you know, we had Acheron and Aventurine. We had the Trailblaze quest. That's what it's called. I think so. Somewhere. Um, what is the event? Well, to me, it was kind of like on the event side. Like the... Yeah. I did like the mini game though. Like the filming thing where you had to like move up and down and stuff. Um, that was cool. But otherwise, the, the things that was an event, that was just like a game mode thingy that they just added. But in terms of events, yeah, it wasn't anything crazy. Tides of War was fun. But not all of them. Not all the levels. So, there you go. And the rewards weren't that crazy as well, in my opinion. I feel like they kind of slack, slacked with the rewards. Or maybe I just pulled too many characters. And that's why I'm out of Jade. I don't know. But anyway, let's give our opinion on this. Um, okay, I'm old now. The overall experience of the game in its current version. Ah, Gallagher came up. Really good. Well, they're weak to fire. And there was the drinks event. Okay, that was cool. The story of that was so good. It's kind of like underrated, in my opinion, but yeah. Um, yeah, Trailblaze mission, that was amazing. Cosmo DC, it was fun for like five minutes. <laughs> It became so dry, because especially because you had to finish it. Like you had to like play a couple of times before you could get every single reward. So it was kind of annoying. We ate in a cup. The story was amazing. Gameplay was funny. It was fun as well. But yeah, and then fighting spirit. What was that? What was fighting spirit? I don't know. But I'm gonna say very satisfied anyway, because I mean it was good. Uh, with Valkyrie, I'm gonna say very satisfied. Eventually, I'm just gonna say I don't care because I mean I don't. He is OP, but I don't have him to care that much. Then neutral for Gallagher, I think. No, I just say satisfied. He's just like he's kind of weird. So yeah, it's nice that he gives a debuff, but his healing is kind of like off. I don't know, weird. Um. It may just be a skill issue, uh, but I don't want to spend like, you know, hours trying to learn them or something. Uh, even I could just probably watch a guide and that'll be it, but there you go. Uh, what's your favorite evaluation for Arakaron? Design, visuals, voice of were really good, and I mean everything, it's Arakaron. <laughs> then we have Gallagher. His background is like kind of crazy. His looks... Good, but like kind of weird at the same time. I don't know. Voice. I don't know. I am happy with the voice, but like I feel like something deeper, a manlier kind of thing. I don't know. Um, combat mechanics. Yeah, I'm gonna say satisfied. Enjoyment. I'm just gonna say neutral because I don't really like playing him to be honest. That's why I've kind of benched him again for Bailu, <laughs> even though I said I'm gonna use him from now on. But there you go. Um, combat mechanics, yeah, sure. He's definitely fine in terms of like healing and stuff. How this depends on the current version. Trailblaze. I have played them all. Yep. The overall of the current version, very satisfied. I mean, it's the mission, right? Yeah, story really good. Narrative performance effects. I ain't gonna lie, there were a couple of scenes where I was like, camera looked kind of weird. But I don't remember exactly. I said I made the comment when I was playing the story on that. But I don't remember exactly what I said. <clears throat> but I remember there was something. Um, yeah, sure. Map exploration is always good. Content quantity. 
I mean, it lasted a while. Yeah, you know, that was a good amount of content, I'm gonna say. That, that story mission was really long. Music and sound effects, music's always sick. Then, story content occurs. Trailblaze missions. Trailblazer store. Oh, I see the storylines. You see, they included Sam, discovering Sam's true identity, so like that was sick. But in terms of the rest of these things, was it just kind of like a yap fest, really? It was like anything crazy. So I'm just satisfied for that. Venturing, really good. Acheron. Yeah, that's fine. I shared, yep, I mean, really good. Cutscene and all that. Narrative performance effects. Yeah, they're gonna put the same for every single thingy. I think the sort of narratives are clear. To be honest, it was kind of... But that's just because I'm like a little bit dumb. Of like what Aventurin was trying to get at with the whole like him walking through the park. With like his past and future and all that. But yeah, during the mission it was... I don't say I agree. Because yeah, I don't know, just like a little bit dent and I wasn't following everything completely, I feel like. But I, knew, I don't think it was because I wasn't like listening. You know, just like too deep, kind of, you know? <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, the multi-story perspective was good, yeah. Ten stone hearts, the boss fight. Yeah, sure, it's really hard. Um, cool mechanic, even though it's RNG, so nothing crazy, but yeah. Um, yeah, the story bit of it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think I did the nerfed version, so that's why. And how fun it is? It's alright, but like the RNG can get kind of annoying sometimes, you know? Uh, uh, the new maps. To be honest, do you like pavilion is so annoying if you like main picking. Because, like, there's no teleporters anywhere. And you just have to run around so much. That's what I'm going to say is satisfying. And for the clock studios, yeah, I mean, it's good. It's, like, cleared out into clear sections, uh, separated into clear sections. Where there's mobs and where there's, like, story and, like, missions and stuff. So, yeah, that's cool. Plus, like, I like the big broken screen that Akiron did. That was sick. And they kept that in. Pretty number the following aspects of the lap of it. environmental visual effect. I'm not sure it looks cool. Well, there is like a lot of empty space that looks kind of dead. I'm not gonna lie. Not necessary detours to default defense our targets. Okay, with this redesign, nah, it's kind of it's pretty bad. I need to add the teleporter somewhere. Or like, but things I don't know if they can. I was thinking like you know because there's the like rooms to the left and right, or like you have to add, or you have to like open the door and then that's where you go like up on the walls and shit. Um, if they could add a teleporting door, but they haven't done that, and I don't know if they can or not. Um, because then they keep track of like the bubbles, right? Because that's what there's the doors that they act as like a. Oh, you went for the door, so we're gonna delete your charges. For the walking of the wall thing in the ramp. Um, so I don't know if they can put teleporters in there. But like then at least outside the doors or something. Or like one teleporter and like the door that you come in. Like on the balcony, right? Because like it's too much walking. 
And also, even when you go into like the miniature well, map, right? You have to take the like the thingy to go up on the balcony to kill those two monsters, and then you, yeah, you have to take two of those bouncing balls thingies. Like, I can't win my. Nah, this map is dead. Um, and puzzles and stuff. Yeah, I mean it was fun, but it's just like it wasn't anything crazy to be honest. And like the like walking up the walls puzzles and stuff, they're still like hype because they're still new. But like I'm getting over them at this point. So it's just like there were a bunch of those, and I was like, eh, not really great. And the Hanu puzzles, eh, I'm like over it at this point. The the rocket launcher added some things. But it just made it easier, so like, kind of killed it. But yeah, yeah, they're not gonna say unsatisfied because it's kind of it's kind of dead. And this visual effect, nice redesign. Yep, good. Though, no, nah, it's fine. It was there's not too much walking in there. Well, if you wanna, Cause you have to go in the labyrinth and then there's that platform off to the left where those there's those two TVs. Which is like always annoying. Or like I don't know where they could have the teleport to make that faster, you know? It would actually like there's a teleporter that's like at the entrance of the park, right? And actually they move that teleporter to like where the arches are, right? There's the three arches and you just put it like next to the one in the middle or something, you know? So you can like spawn closer to like stuff that you actually need. Uh, like those two monsters and stuff, right? But yeah, redesign. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's satisfied then, just because of that. That like getting to the labyrinth can take a, some time. And then those two guys are on that single platform on the left. So yeah. That's kinda meh. And then interactables, yeah, sure, that was enough. Those. What's his name? Walter. He gave 20k or something. That was pretty cool. By changing his uh, emo clock. Emo clock. Which of the events have you participated in? I have played, I have played. I have played. Wait, what was this? Oh, Tides of War. Because what do you see? Oh, yeah, Tides, yeah, yeah. It was alright. That was really good. And this one was satisfied. What if I usually use to experience Saga Staril? Mouse on keyboard. Please give me more jades. I want Robin, Fire, Fly, and Jade. Thanks. If you give me these characters i'm gonna stop complaining about relics forever smiley face nice and there you go hey yeah, overall 2.1 really good patch a lot of content surprisingly although towards the end now after Tides of War ended, nothing to do for like a while. So, I mean, it's nice because then I can at least play Nikkei. So there you go. Because <laughs> I have stuff to do in that one. But yeah, that's my survey. Um, so about it. See you in the next one.